That's so cute. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily put it that way. What's so cute? Priya. It's okay. Hendra's not gonna tell anyone, right? Secrets are safe with me. Okay, so apparently, Claire and Darren's family go way back. And the thing is that their parents kept trying to match them up together since they were kids. And, as luck would have it, they now work together. Aww. Guys, please don't tell anyone. It's kind of embarrassing. Don't worry. Who am I gonna tell? I think it's so cute your parents try to set you guys up. <laughs> So, you mentioned there were uh, two young entrepreneurs here. Yeah, they're sitting over there. They approached us about a week ago. They had an interesting idea. I thought maybe they should talk to you. And what did they approach you for? They wanted all our used coffee grounds. It's another note. Hi, my name is Claire, and these are my colleagues, Darren, Ria, and Hendra. Hey. Hi, um, I am Rianne, yeah. and this is my partner, Jake. Angela mentioned you were working on something interesting. Would you mind sharing with us? Yeah, sure. Uh, please, take a seat, please. Um, so, we want to use a bar of soap to try to change the way that people think about waste. Okay, so, um, while most people understand the concept of recycling and upcycling, they seldom think about it as an essential part of their daily life. So our idea is to change their thinking by upcycling everyday waste into everyday products. Yep. These are soaps made from coffee grounds. Yeah. Coffee grounds, they're porous, so they're excellent cleaning agents. And secondly, they help reduce greenhouse gases, since decomposing coffee grounds releases methane into the atmosphere. Finally, we're able to create a connection in the consumer's minds between the coffee that they drink in the morning and the soap that they use at night. And once they can see how it can be a part of their everyday life, they'll start looking at other types of waste and wonder what else they can do with them. Exactly, this is more than just a bar of soap. We're trying to start a movement. So what stage are you at now? We are contacting different cafes and restaurants to help them put their coffee grounds to good use. Yeah, but uh, in the process, we've realized that it's more than the consumer's mindset that we have to change. Bar of soap that changes how we look at waste. It's interesting. So what's the issue? While most establishments are willing to give the coffee grounds for free, the transportation cost of collection is too much for them to bear, which means they'll have to charge a fee for the collection. It's the only way the business can be sustainable. Ria and I propose pitching to one of the big coffee chains and getting them on board. Once we can set an industry trend, we think the rest will follow. Darren, Andrew, what are your thoughts on this? From their perspective, we're essentially asking them to pay to get rid of their waste. And whilst the right thing to do, it won't be easy to get them on board. I agree. Changing consumers' thinking is one thing. Changing how businesses think is a whole different ballgame. Well, it's hard to tell what will ultimately work. Claire, it's your call. Thank you so much for meeting with us, Mr. D'Souza. Don't mention it. Chester spoke very highly of you guys. This is Jake and Leanne, co-founders of X Grounds, a social enterprise out to shake things up. Pleasure. So, what's your big idea? We want to start by asking you a question. Do you know how much coffee waste is produced in the world every year? Oh, I should know this. <laughs> but I'm embarrassed to say I don't. Well, take a guess. 500,000 tons. Believe it or not, more than 6 million tons of coffee grounds are sent to the landfill every year. That is more than 10,000 double-decker buses a day every day. Now, we want to work with the coffee industry to solve this problem by providing a coffee grounds collection service so that we can reduce coffee waste by upcycling coffee grounds into everyday consumer products. This coffee grounds collection service you mentioned, you do charge for this? Yes. We charge by frequency and weight. You do realize that's an added cost for us. Of course, but there's always been a cost to waste. It's just that we've been passing it on to our environment and the future generations. It's time we make a change. 
I appreciate what you guys are trying to do here. But the reality is, we're already operating on a razor-thin profit margin. See, we're a business, not a charity. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. It was worth a shot. So what do we do next? What if we launch a grassroots movement to get the smaller cafes and restaurants to join first, then leverage social media to rally the public? And once we make sufficient noise, there's naturally going to be more reason for the bigger chains to come on board. I know an app developer who put together a digital guide to all the cafes in the city. He might be willing to help. And the funding? I can introduce you to our social enterprise banking package, and we can take it from there. I never give up, I never let go. Don't want to hold back and take control. Trying everything, I gotta take a swing. Make it work out before I step into the ring. Let's do it again. Hi, Mr. Wong. Thank you so much for your time. Can I tell you about the Zero Coffee Listeners? I'm gonna push it every day. It's great. I love it. Work it every day and work it. Congrats on the Zero Coffee Waste campaign. Been a lot of buzz on social. Thank you, Mr. D'Souza. And I suppose you're here to convince us to sign up again. Jake and Leanne are actually here to show you three new products they recently developed. First, we have a bar of soap in the shape of a coffee cup. It is handmade from coffee grounds, olive oil and coconut oil. Next, we have a coffee scented candle. It is made from soy and coffee grounds. Lastly, we have a coaster made from coconut shell fibers and compressed coffee grounds. I'll be the first to admit, they're all very nice. We want to propose a partnership with Java's Coffee. If you join our campaign, we will collect your coffee grounds to make these products and put your logo on them. You can then retail them at all your stores, easily recovering the cost of joining the campaign. I understand what you're doing here. But the truth is, it's easy to play armchair general from afar. There are ramifications that we, as a large company, must consider. I'm sorry, but the answer is still no. Let's go. You're absolutely right, Mr. D'Souza. We are not privy to the business considerations that go into your decision. What we are privy to is how the waste problem affects us all. Every single one of us here is affected when greenhouse gases change our climate. The future of all of us here is equally impacted by your decision today. So, with all due respect, sir, I think we have every reason to fight for change because it is our collective future we're talking about here. Wait. So when can we expect this collection service to begin? A seemingly simple idea can blossom into something much bigger when driven by clarity of purpose, a dose of rebellion, and a stubborn insistence to see things through. That was quite something you did back there. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Wanna go grab a drink? I can't. I gotta go pack. Going on a trip? Well, Chester didn't tell you. Friday's my last day. I'm going back to school, getting my master's in sociology. Hey. Remember this little guy? Remember how I kept getting bullied by the kids in the neighborhood? And I gave you this and told you how you can be a superhero, how you can defeat evil and save the world. I just want to say thank you. 
That little guy changed my life. Good luck, Claire. Don't stop changing the world. <laughs>